Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your 2022 forecast horoscope predictions. And you guys are going to love this one because this one's going to cover love, wealth, and also blessings and unexpected surprises coming in for 2022. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, if you'd like to sign up for my new free newsletter or if you get a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. And also, guys, I have a gift to give away. So if you're interested in getting involved with that, all you have to do is stick with me till the end and you can find out more information about my free gift giveaway. All right, so I wanna jump right in here, Capricorn, and let's get this started here. All right, so what's going on my Capricorns? Romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns career and finance for 2022. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Capricorn, keep in mind you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Capricorn make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. And so we're gonna be talking about love first. And then we're going to talk about your career and finance second. And then we're going to talk about um, the unexpected surprises and blessings that are coming in for you guys for 2022. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue doing it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. Let's see what the overall energy is here. All right, so we have this Five of Swords energy. So it feels like there is this sense of defeated energy. I feel like there's a sadness here, this depression, because of a lack of courage and strength. Because there seems to be a lot of overanalyzing here with this Knight of Pentacles energy. And also I heard a, uh, an email message. So Capricorn, always keep in mind whenever you hear something during a reading, it can be an omen saying it's clarifying what the reader is saying or it is saying that you guys are gonna get some kind of text message, letter, or document, right? Or email. So let's go over the cards. You got the King of Cups energy, the, the Justice card, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Hangman energy, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, and the Empress. So I can see that there is love coming in here with this King of Cups energy, solid love, okay? It's not like a page of cups, there's potential for love, but no, the King energy is coming out. So the King energy is telling me that there is an established love here, okay? There's a, a person that has life experience kind of love. It's like, I know what I want kind of love. And we see justice. Now justice can be marriage, divorce, just choose, just decision, but the decision is being made because of this. And it looks like Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It looks like there's going to be a whole new perspective or open-mindedness about the situation. I feel like if I look at this particular card here, I feel like this is for me almost like the Ace of Swords energy. There's a sense of clarity here. Um, and the clarity seems to be about the sense of happiness uh, when it comes to this love connection we have a gemini excuse me a gemini libra aquarius energy a cancer scorpio pisces energy and in the middle is this decision that's being made yeah i feel like there's this decision being made possibly about a gemini libra aquarius energy and about someone who's a cancer scorpio pisces energy so someone may there's someone who may already been here in this situation with the king of cups energy and then another person that's brand new with the page of swords energy, okay, for some of you. And you got that sense of wanting to make a decision about it. Okay, so let's get some more clarity about what's going on here. What's going on with my Capricorn's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's career and finance for 2022. Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the cross card. We have the anchor card and we have the cat card. So it seems like 
there seems to be some burdens in the stuck energy because someone isn't being honest. What's this dishonesty about? A sense of naivete. Maturity could be the page of swords energy, someone who's not telling the truth. Or there is some immature actions being taken here that is coming off like it's a deception. The stuck energy or there needs to be, there's going to be a decision that's going to be made about a stable situation, stability and stableness, but there seems to be some challenges here because of a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. What's going to have my Capricorns? Let me move this deck out of the way too. What's going to have my Capricorns? Romantic Love Life for 2022. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Right, what is this King of Cups clarified? So it looks like you're going to be thinking about this deeply about this King of Cups. There's obsessive energy about having to make this decision when it comes to a stable situation. But there's indecisions about this or there's a little bit of a crossroads about this choice because like, there's a sense that someone is being immature and they're not being honest about this choice that they have to make. Hmm. Or they're wanting you to make this choice. They may be coming at you very immature about it, okay? Because they have strong desires and strong obsession energy about having a strong, solid commitment here with the anchor card being there. So it looks like what's going to happen here, Capricorn, it looks like you are going to defend your position. Yeah, you're going to defend your position or this person. You have to check it how it resonates or this person will. Seven of Wands energy because they have the stuck energy and they want things to be brought into balance. And uh, they're wanting things to move fast with you guys. So they want things to have some kind of movement here. Let's go further on this. Tree card. Bouquet card. And moon card. So we see that there's been some time to grow. This tree card talks about there's been some time to grow or someone's like, you know what, I, I feel like I have the higher ground here. I want to fight for this Capricorn. I'm, I'm stuck in this situation. I, I really want this sacrifice to be made here. And it kind of surprises you because you're just like, what? And we see that there is this romantic message that's going to come through here with the Eight of Wands is saying, or this fast romance, Eight of Wands. Five talks about some challenges here when it comes to what you want. And five again is coming up some changes are happening. And if we look at the, the cards themselves, I feel like you're getting a sense of confusion about the whole thing. You're just like, why are you doing this? Why are you starting stuff here? That's what I feel like. Okay. So let's keep going. So you're having this uncertainty here of why this shocking situation is happening about this commitment, engagement, or marriage. So it's kind of like, I feel like this person, Capricorn, doesn't know where they stand with you. And so they want a breakthrough when it comes to a commitment. So Capricorn, I feel like they feel like you are attached or you're in love with possibly a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy or someone that you have known for a while, okay? And this new person is like, they don't know where they stand with you and they don't understand the relationship that you have with that other person. Um, and it's, it's like this sense of uncertainty for them and they want a breakthrough here because they have a sense of being stuck. Okay. And they're ready for some kind of commitment and they want things to move forward fast. Okay. So we see 10 of swords is coming out. It looks like whatever happened will, will come to an end or completion here. And we see that there's a relationship happening here and some huge potential for starting a family with Empress card energy. So we see commitment to happiness with a person or a commitment that is revealed because of a person. Okay, the person card could be you, could be the love interest. Let's keep going. Chemistry and passion, a letter, a message document, and something to do with friends. So this, this other person must be a friend in your uh, life, possibly maybe Capricorn, you dated that person before, okay? and you're still friends with them. And so this person has a lot of con concern about it, that you still have chemistry with them. Okay, so 
we see that I want you to um, to take some time alone because of uncertainty or maybe I need to think about this, you know, because I have uncertainty about where I stand when it comes to this chemistry and passion. They are very obsessed and, and really strongly attached to you, Capricorn. There's something really shocking and surprising about this letter message or document. And you're at a crossroads when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage to a friend or a commitment to a friend. Mm. So you're gonna have to make a choice about this friend. Okay. All right, so some burdens and challenges because it's stuck energy and someone's not being honest about, you know, healing or recovery or needing some time to grow. There's something very s surprising about this romance and a commitment that's being revealed about a person. Hmm. So it looks like the surprise message or this thing that's going to be revealed is shock and surprises about the fact that this, this person is going to tell you about the fact that they feel like there's something else going on with that person or they feel stuck because that person's, you know, you're friends with that person and they don't want you to be friends with that person anymore. That's what it seems like uh, to move forward with the commitment here in the relationship because they feel that there's huge potential for you guys. Okay. We see that King of Cups is saying, wise decision when it comes to love and having to make a decision, even though there's some sense of immaturity uh, when someone's defending their position in the stuck position and wanting things to move forward here and fast, Eight of Wands energy or some kind of messages coming in about wanting to end the hurt or pain when it comes to a relationship because of this huge potential for a family, starting a family, Empress card energy, love and abundance. And we see there's a relationship that has huge potential relationship that has love and abundance. There's this relationship or this choice being made with the heart when it comes to love and abundance. Because the central theme is saying there's a stuck energy or someone that's going to have to be sacrificed or something that's going to have to be sacrificed here. And because you want to make a wise decision when it comes to love and romance, you're going to have to end this hurt and pain for this, this love and abundance because of something that could be immature here or because of new perspectives about the situation because it's a shocking message you receive. You're making a decision because this person really wants to fight for a relationship and wants things to move fast and wants you to sacrifice something here, Capricorn. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. So we see uh, for career and finance. So you start out with the five of pentacles. So at first you guys are like, all right, I have the sense of loss here. But we see that there is there is a, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, or there's a patient energy here, and then it looks like you're going to make a choice here towards something that you really love, and you're going to explore some new things here. This is going to give you the power that you need, uh, and there is a sense of celebration and joy there with Three of Cups energy. So yeah, an opportunity is going to come in, which is going to bring you good news, good news about opportunity, and you find that strength and courage with the Bear card energy for this loyalty to argue and fight for your position in making a choice. We see the choice that you're gonna make, it's kinda gonna butt heads a little bit, and there's something shocking and surprising about that, but through that, you're going to get exactly what you want here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. There's gonna be a huge offer here on the table. Ship card, the butting of heads seems to be about travel here for you guys, and whether or not you really want to take a risk or gamble on that. Then we see there's a huge, huge potential offer here coming through from this group of people or the public. So it's something to do with you socializing or this, this workplace or these people. So we see there's an opportunity because of some sense of loss to explore some new things here. Because of a friend, there is some headbutting and a choice that's going to have to be made about travel movement or change. You're going to receive some kind of good news from possibly a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, or um, you're going to take an action towards what you want here and argue your position because you know you have the power and the tools to do it. There's something shocking and surprising about the fact that you're just like, all right, I'm going to have to take a risk here, or take, a, take a gamble on this. It looks like you'll take control of this situation. You'll find that strength and courage to make a commitment or make a choice towards something that you love or have a partnership here 
towards friendship, celebration, socializing, networking to make this choice. Yeah, and this huge offer comes through this network, this socializing, and or these friends here with the Three of Cups energy, these helpful people here. Yeah, so we see even clarifying further on this Capricorn. Nine of Swords, you'll stress a bit, a bit about it, but you're gonna do some juggling and making a choice because of some things to do with the past, Six of Cups energy, which will really make you happy with the Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's move into what are some hidden surprises coming up for Capricorn for 2022? Show me cards you to see. Give me three cards for that, please. Let me just pull one, two, Three, the world card energy and let's also shuffle for some blessings for Capricorn what are some blessings that Capricorn can expect for 2022 show me cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see okay king of swords king of wands and Queen of Cups. Looks like your blessings have to do with people, actually, Capricorn. There's some really great people in your life that are going to help you out. And it definitely seems like with a career in finance, also, there's some helpful people that are going to bring some things for you that's going to, uh, you know, lead to a huge opportunity there. So the surprises are possibly for some of you have to do with travel, okay, uh, or willpower strong willpower in moving things forward and some indecisions about travel with the world card energy or how things are going to come to to you know be completed or accomplished here because of what's going on with the world for some of you so indecisions about that so that's the surprise now the blessing seems to be gemini libra aquarius energy Aries, sagittarius leo energy cancer scorpio pisces energy for me since i see the people cards I feel like it's actual people, you know, that are helping you out, they're helpful, they're a blessing in your life, that are, that are really there for you, that are moving things forward and allowing you to follow your, the, the beat of your own drum there. That's what I feel like. And emotionally, it's giving you a lot of comfort here, I feel like, and it's giving you that sense of how to be wise in your decision making and um, to play politics in your situation. So I feel like your blessing Capricorn is to do with people that are going to be around you in the year of 2022. Okay. Potential signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. All right, my beautiful Capricorns. I love you guys so much. If you guys like to hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two with your weeklies. And also my darlings, um, for the free reading contest, I'm gonna be picking two people for a free personal reading and one person I'm gonna be picking for the holiday mystery box giveaway, which will include some of my favorite spiritual products and stuff. All you have to do is put blessed and love in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another date or two. Have a great date or night wherever you are. I'll see you guys 